gentlemen, the NFL season ended a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl just, the Super Bowl ended. The Super Bowl concluded. Um, I needed some time to record this video, but we can finally react to my 2023 NFL predictions that I made at the beginning of the year. I predicted the standings, I broke down every team, I predicted all the awards, and I predicted the Super Bowl matchup and the winner all in this video. So we're gonna see how much of it we got correct. You're about to witness some greatness, all right? ESPN, NFL Network, get the paper and pen ready. Cause I'm ready to sign the contract. Get into it. Mate. NFL Here we go. season predictions. God, this video Hold on. is. Are we it... talking about how I look like an acorn? What the hell was? What is that? Offensive player of the year. To be honest, I think this award comes down to three players and three players only. And if it's not any of these three players, then I just don't know ball. <laughs> See, why do I set it up like this? It's making me nervous. It's making me anxious. If I didn't say Christian McCaffrey for any of my three players, I look like a scrub. I automatically lose all my credibility. All right, don't, don't, don't mess this up. The first player is Mr. Jefferson. Justin J. Jettas. You know what I mean? The... Why, why am I doing all that? But he won it last year. Okay. So I, I don't know. I'm not really going to go that way. I like the it. the next contender yep. is none other than my guy. Yep. Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's part of the three. My only concern is like if he snaps a hamstring because he wears red and gold. I'm pretty sure he played every game. Wait, I kind of nailed this. Hold on. Who, who was the last Definitely guy? contender. But my prediction, my winner oh, is no, none other than Jamar Chase. Okay. From the Cincinnati right. Bengals defense. Okay, rookie. you know what? That wasn't even that bad. Jamar Chase got hurt, and I had CMC as like my second guy. So we're one for one in the video. Let's go. All right, defensive rookie of the year. Come on, come on. We got to get one of these. The year. Will Anderson. Yeah. Come on, man, NFL Network, what are we saying? I don't even remember predicting this, but what is the conversation? Let me hear the reasoning. Hold on, hold on. Can we, can we just, can we just focus on how I said Will Anderson? Listen to the confidence and and the base that I said his name with. Case. You know what I mean? That's how Almost much confidence I had in this pick. Rookie of the year, Will Anderson. Will Anderson. Will Anderson. Now I'm about to get hit with the analysis. Now I'm about to preach like a sermon. Well, listen to this greatness. I think he's the current favorite to win based on betting odds. And you know, if you're Chinese like me. You like odds, you know? Uh, that, that was my reasoning? Wait, hold on. I did, did I not break down anything about, you know, no X's and O's? No film? Did I just make a pick based on betting odds? All right, listen, I, I got it right, all right? I, I don't want to hear it. I watched every single All-22 film on Will Anderson when he was at Alabama. I knew he was going to be Rookie of the Year. I love Will Anderson. I love you. All right, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Did I say C.J. Stroud? Oh, I don't remember. Come on, F. Come Rookie on, year. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with this camera, by the way. I'm yeah, what is this camera, camera angle? Angles. Right now, you guys are just between my legs. Yeah, what is this pussy cam? What is this? I think the clear favorite is Bijan Robinson. Oh. Um, I don't think he's going to win it. Okay. Because, uh, he's an Atlanta Falcon. Okay. Just, he's special. Like, special. Not in a good way. He made Kyle Pitts look like Marquise Lee on a bad day. Oh, oh my God! He got fired, too! See, I'm not even talking about the award winner. I'm talking about a head coach. I just put that in just to let y'all know. Oh my God, this this is making me emotional. Season long. How do I not have a job at NFL Network? Other contenders like Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, huh? these are all good picks. Yeah. The receivers, like. Okay, I said he was a good pick. Who did I pick then? My pick for Offensive Rookie of the Year is Jameer Gibbs. Studying his film, he reminds me a lot of. That's not that bad. That's not even that bad, man. It was Stroud, and I guess Puka Nakua was second, but nobody would have thought it was Puka. Jameer Gibbs had a good year, too. Like, he, he looks nasty. He, he might look like a top five running back this next season. I got Jameer Gibbs winning it. I do think the Lions are going to be pretty good as well this year. Oh. That's coming up later on oh. in the video. Oh Defensive my, oh players. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, this guy, can he palm read? Can he read my future? When am I dying? When am I done? Defensive player of the year. It's okay. usually a okay. pass rusher. Who was it? Was All it right. Miles Garrett? So, Who won? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look. My, yo. My, yo. Si, jia, lei, te. Miles Garrett. Okay. It's usually a pass rusher. Yep. All right. So, okay. you know, Nick Bosa, Miles okay. Garrett, oh, oh. Uh, Aaron Donald. Oh, I said him, though. Right? These guys start coming to mind. Micah Parsons. But I'm going with Sauce Gardner. Sauce Gardner. Uh, why? Why did I just do that? Dude, it's like I just intentionally sold. Why didn't I just say Miles Garrett? TJ Watt won one, Nick Bosa won one, Aaron Donald won one. I should have just went with the last one who hasn't won one yet. Just have a very good defense, all right? Particularly their pass rush, which I think benefits the DBs. They'll okay. be scoring more points on offense right now, which yeah. gives Sauce no, that, more that chances happen. to actually 
get PBUs and interceptions because <sighs> other teams will be playing from behind. They'll be throwing the ball more. All right, so I pretty I pretty much nailed this one too. Because if Aaron Rodgers didn't hurt himself four plays in, Sauce Gardner would have been defense player of the year. That, that, that's fast. Coach of the year, I got Sean Payton. I think the Denver... Oh, ooh wee. Ooh, ooh, I just felt goosebumps. Sean Payton. <laughs> Let, let's hear why I thought it would be Sean Payton, ladies and gentlemen. Let, let's hear why I thought Sean Payton would be coach of the year. I think the Denver Broncos are gonna be a really good football team this year, but we'll get into that later on in the video. I did want to go Robert Sala, actually, for this award. I do think the Jets are gonna be a really good football team. We've had Brian Dable win it, Mike Vrabel, Kevin Stefanski, John Harbaugh, Matt Nagy. I think Jason Garrett won it recently. You know what I mean? See where I'm going with this? I mean, Stefanski won. He beat out Ryan's by like one vote, which I don't agree with, but so, I mean, I was kind of right there. I, I was on the right track, if we're being honest. I knew it would be a white guy, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I pretty much got that one right too. <laughs> MVP. Now, Ooh. I could just cop out, go with the boring answer. Mahomes. You know what I mean? No, Josh no, Allen. No, but you know no, what? I don't think no. it's gonna be any of those big guys. I, think... I think it's gonna be a dark horse this year. Who? I have a strange feeling. Who? that this year's MVP Ooh. is going to be Trevor Lawrence the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, that's my worst one. I, I didn't get the race right on this one. I don't even think he was a finalist. 21 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Yeah, th those aren't MVP numbers. I also do think the Jaguars are going to be a good team as well. Get into that after this. Trevor Lawrence got a good shot at winning MVP. Okay, now. Nah. Yeah, no, he wasn't even a finalist. And the Jaguars didn't even make the playoffs. What, what am I yapping about? Now I'm getting lost, but here we go. Here, here comes the standings. This should make up for that ending there. I started out pretty hot. I came out firing, you know what I mean? With the Will Anderson, Demir Gibbs, CJ Stroud discussion, you know what I'm saying? Christian McCaffrey, shout out. I came out hot, but but, but I kind of fell off there at the end with, with the Sean Payton and the, and the Trevor Lawrence. But I'm gonna make it up here with the standings, all right? This is where I break down every team. AFC West. All right, I got the Chiefs going 14 and three, the okay. Broncos going 12 and five, uh -huh. the Chargers going seven and 10, and the uh -huh. Raiders going four and 13. Uh -huh. just... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did what, I say? 14 and three for the Chiefs, they finished 11 and six, but they were first in the division. So I get something for that. Broncos 12 and five. Ooh, yeah, okay, they went eight and nine, uh, but tied second for the division. Raiders four and 13. They went eight and nine. The Raiders went eight and nine. Oh, but they started out really bad. Like if you were gonna tell me before the year they were gonna hire Antonio Pierce, I would have been like, that's eight and nineteen. You know what I'm saying? Like Chargers five and twelve, seven and ten. You know what? A lot of people are really high on the Chargers coming into this year, and I said they would go below five hundred. I think that's a pretty solid prediction. Look at that, Josh McDaniel should be at McDonald's. I, I just forgot. I think Devontae Adams gets traded by the deadline Ooh. because Aaron Rodgers just reconstructed Ooh. his contract Ooh. and he mentioned in an interview Ooh. that he did that in order to get somebody at the Ooh. trade deadline. Ooh, NFL Network, come on. ESPN, come on. CBS, come on. If Aaron Rodgers stayed healthy, this entire video would have been 100%. Buffalo Bills, 13 and four. Now, after I finished doing all the games, I thought the Bills would actually have a worse record than this. I was thinking maybe like an 11 and six Ooh. situation. Ooh. Bills, what did we finish with Bills? 11 and six, see, I should have just went my gut, but I had to get the math right and do every game. So they were just naturally 13 and four, but they were really, they really felt like an 11 and six team. And I remember feeling like the Bills were an 11 and six team before the year. Dolphins, Jets. I have them both at 11 and six. <sighs> Three and three in their division. Ah. That's, I, I think the Jets are gonna be good this year, man. I really do. Ah. I couldn't have forecasted the Aaron Rodgers injury. That really ruined this entire video. Everything that I've gotten wrong had something to do with Aaron Rodgers. Even the Broncos finishing 12 and five. That has something to do with Aaron Rodgers too. Dolphins 11 and six. They were 11 and six, second in the division. Come on, we gotta get some props for that. And then I had the Patriots last. So I, I got the order right. AFC North statistically is the most competitive division. I have all four teams with a winning record record over 500 Bengals 12 wait I think I got that right wait a second oh my god all four teams had an over 500 record guys I don't think
think you understand how hard that is to predict. Wait, I know I have my dick in my own mouth right now, but like this is genuinely, I'm surprising myself. Okay, I had Bengals 12 and five, Ugh. Ravens 12 and five, that's not bad. Steelers nine and eight, Browns nine and eight. And it went Ravens 13 and four, Browns 11 and six. Mmm, the Browns really surprised me. Steelers 10 and seven, Bengals nine and eight. Now the Bengals would have done better if Joe Burrow was healthy. I, I mean, I got the Steelers in third. I was one game off for the Steelers, but yeah, I, I just got the order wrong. Jaguars 11 and 6, Texans 8 and 9, Colts 7 and 10, Titans 6 and 11. I think they're. Whoa. Whoa. It's all done. Hold on. I had the Jaguars at 11 and 6. Why was I on the Jaguars? Dick. They had 9 and 8. Houston was 10 and 7. Okay, yeah, I got this one wrong. To be honest, this is a tough division to predict. I got Titans 6 and 11. I knew my Titans football. The Jaguars are the best team in the division. I got Trevor Lawrence as my MVP because of this. True. Texans and Colts both have a... I, I kind of had to put the Jaguars at 1 to support my Lawrence MVP argument. Which was terrible. Texans and Colts both have a rookie quarterback. I think Anthony Richardson might actually pan out better than CJ Stroud. But they're... That's, that's not looking good. That's just looking... That's not looking good at all. I mean, we, we still got a chance with that take. CJ Stroud does look special, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get into the NFC now. I have the Saints winning the division at six and eleven. The Falcons finishing second at four, twelve, and one. That's right. I predicted a tie. The Panthers at four and thirteen, and the Buccaneers at four and thirteen. Now the interesting. What? I had the Saints at 6 and 11 winning the division. I had every team below 500. Two teams finished above 500. Saints and Bucks had the same record. Okay, I had the Buccaneers at 4 and 13. That, that doesn't look good. I gave the Panthers more wins. How did I do that? How did I overrate the Panthers heading into this year? How did I just do that? I actually thought going into this game by game predictor before doing this, I had the Panthers as the division winner. And I Why was I so high on the Panthers? What, what about the Panthers got me going? Like, why did I have a, such a hard on for the Panthers? And I think the Panthers can easily win this division because, I, I mean, I had the division leader at 6 and 11. Like, come on, we can get 7 and 10. Bryce Young. Ah, uh, no, they can't easily win the division? Yeah, this guy's on crap. Yeah, I don't know this guy. This guy with his bummy haircut, I don't know who this is. I, who is this guy? Bryce Young with oh, all those additions, right? Adam Thielen oh, there as well. Adam they Thielen. got the brand new head coach. They have a oh. whole new energy coming in, you know? Oh. NFC North. I have the Lions winning the division at 10 and 7. Vikings at 10 and 7. Bears at 8 and 9. Oh. And the Packers oh. at 6 and 11. Oh. There's a lot of hot... Oh, Packers at 6 and 11. That's not a good look. Lions went 12 and 5. So they did better than I thought they would. But they had them at first, so gotta give me some credit there. Vikings at two. Yeah, that was at. Bears at three, at eight and nine. Okay, I was one game off, but they did finish last, so that was ass as well. And yeah, the Packers, I, yeah, I messed that one up. Man, I didn't know Jordan Love was gonna be special. They damn near beat us. There's a lot of high expectations for the Lions, and honestly, rightly so. They got a very good roster. Dan Campbell, I honestly, I'd run through a wall. I'd lick an ass for him. Like, whoa, that. that's just whoa, the type whoa, of- whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, like, see, who, who is this guy? Yo, 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 who, what's this guy's channel? Bears, eight and nine. I, I'm a big fan of Justin Fields. I think a lot of people discredit Justin Fields. Either really believe in like the Ohio State quarterback not working out well, mm. or um, the racist. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's about to get traded. He's about to go to Atlanta. Uh, yeah, uh, th yeah, this is a bad take. I just love how convincing I sound in this video. Like, listen to the tone of my voice. I thoroughly believed every take that I had in this video, and I don't regret it a single bit. You know what I mean? You gotta be convinced. DJ Jimmy, Moore man. as well, Darnell Mooney, Chase Claypool. That's a very, very nice wide receiver trio. That's oh, 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 Chase Claypool. <laughs> ah, Chase Claypool. Ah. Is he even on the team? What, what happened, Chase Claypool? The Packers. I think they'll feel the impact of Aaron Rodgers leaving. Now, I do think it'll be hilarious. It'll be really, really funny if Jordan Love is insane and the Packers are just back immediately despite Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers and all these guys leaving. They're just back. I didn't put it in my prediction, but I threw the idea out there that, that they could just, you know, Move on from Aaron Rodgers very soon. And that they could just be back immediately. NFC East, I had the Eagles at 13 and 4, the Giants at 9 and 8. No, I'm about to leave. The Cowboys at 9 and 8, 
The Commanders at 8 and 9? That, that can't be right. What? My god. I mean, at least I had them last. Giants at 9 and 8. Oh, just Jesus Christ. Eagles, I, I didn't get anything right in this division. Except for the Commanders being last. But like... Dude, my two-year-old could have figured that out. I, do I, I have a two-year-old? Oh, wait, I have a two-year-old? Giants at nine and eight. Giants made the playoffs last year. I think they'll make the playoffs again. Daniel Jones got paid as well. I just, I'm unsure. I think he's okay, but I, I, I'm i not sold. Mm. I don't think he's a star. Mm. They're solid. So why the hell did you have him at nine and eight? If you weren't sold, and you knew he wasn't a star, why? Wow. Particularly better than Dak Prescott is Daniel Jones. That's why I said it. Daniel Jones is better than Dak Prescott. He has the star on his helmet, so he's made to be like a god. He sucks. He's not good. He's he's mid. I, I still stand by this, actually. I know he finished second in MVP. I don't think he should have. I mean, he's definitely better than Daniel Jones, but I still think he's not Yeah, I, I heard him good. say something about he's not going to throw... Like 10 plus interceptions. No, he will throw more than 10 interceptions. That's a, ooh, that's part ooh, of. Ooh, ooh, did he did he do that? Did, wait, 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 let's check his stats. Let me see. Let me see. Nine interceptions. Oh, you lucky bugger. NFC West. 49ers top of the division. 13 and four. I get the Seahawks going nine and eight. Rams six and eleven. Cardinals 0 oh, 16 and one. That is. What? Cardinals finished four and thirteen. Why did I just why did I just disrespect them like that? Seahawks finished nine and eight. Okay, I got that right on the money. But I had them over the Rams. Rams finished six and eleven. They actually finished ten and seven. But like who cares about the Rams, man? I hate the Rams. And I was one win off off our prediction. I had us going thirteen and four. We went twelve and five. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. In week ten, I think we will witness the greatest football game ever played between the Atlanta Falcons and the Arizona Cardinals. I think it'll be a tie. Score prediction, 12-12. I didn't have the Cardinals. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta check this game now. What was the final score? 25-23. Oh, there were two points on. Let's talk about a good football team, the 49ers. Now, if you haven't watched my 49ers preview video, I suggest you go do that right now. I'm not as confident in this 49ers team as I am previous years. There's just a lot of drama, and we have two and a half old linemen. That's a problem. You play with... from the draft. I, I, I still can't believe to this day that we didn't draft any O-line help. Here are my AFC and NFC wild card standings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's start with the AFC. So I have Chiefs, Bills, Bengals, Jaguars, Ravens, Broncos, Dolphins. That doesn't seem right. Baltimore was one. All right, got that wrong, but I had Baltimore in the playoffs. Bills, Chiefs, Texans, Browns, Steelers. Texans I had 11, Browns I had a 10, Steelers had a 9. Niners, Cowboys, Lions, Bucks, Eagles, Rams, Packers. Yeah. Niners, Eagles, Lions, Saints, Vikings, Giants. Bro, what was I smoking? I couldn't have just looked at this and just saw that something was up. Oh my god, I had the Bucks in 15. They finished 4th. Yeah, no, that that might be the worst one of the video. AFC champion. I have the Baltimore Ravens winning the AFC this Ooh, year. That's hot. That was close. The Ravens looked dangerous for most of the year. That that was a bull take. I don't think many people had the Ravens before the season started to have won the AFC. I don't think anybody really thought that. It's tough not picking Kansas City. It's really tough, it's really hard. But going back to back, I think is just a little, little tough. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? You knew you were gonna watch this video back and you knew it would just piss you off. Why did I say that? Out of the NFC, I have the Philadelphia Eagles. Hey! 
I just threw it out there as a decoy. That means it was just a decoy. Please follow my heart, and my heart definitely says the 49ers. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah, with my brain yeah, this yeah. time. No, no, no. I'm gonna no, say the no, 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 no. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. End off this video, my Super Bowl winner yeah, prediction yeah, okay, yeah, for the time. Watch this. Okay, all right, that's the video. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Let me know what y'all thought about my predictions. Yeah, I'm not doing one of these next year. I'm not watching football next year. I'm not watching football the rest of my life. I'm done. I, I, I'm, I'm, that's all. God, I hate myself, man. Why did, I, why did I say that? Why did I say the Chiefs couldn't go back to back? Why would you say such a thing? It just... Oh, yeah, I'm so stupid.